in this video we're going to talk about the filters okay so we already discussed what filters are they allow us to basically uh, modify uh, WordPress data uh, before it is echoed out in the browser or you know inserted into a database uh, all right so let's discuss the examples so what we're doing over here is that uh, we're just checking in condition if not empty errors errors is a variable okay and we are echoing out in a div uh, we are using apply filters here okay and then we are making use of the first uh, parameter which is hook login errors and then we are using the variable it takes which is errors okay uh, so we are going ahead and defining this hook over here okay and then we are using the add filter to go ahead and uh, you know attach our function our custom function to this hook the same hook okay and what will happen is that when the script reaches over here is going to check if this apply filter with the hook name login errors does it have any uh, custom functions attached or latched onto it if it is then it's going to go ahead and make the value of the errors available to that function so it's going to come over here it's going to find add filter which is lashed onto the same hook it's going to execute this function which is right here and this function will have the value of errors available okay uh, so it will be passed as a parameter to this custom function and then we can directly either return login success unsuccessful try again or we can go ahead and uh, assign it to this variable uh, errors is equal to and then return errors sorry okay so as you can see what's happening over here is that the script reaches here uh, apply filter says hey uh, this is my hook have you got any functions uh, that is latched onto my hook uh, is going to come over here and say yes there is there's I can see there's an add filter and I can see it's using the same hook and it's attaching a custom function modify login errors so it's going to call this function It's going to pass this uh, variable this data of errors into it and this is going to come to this function and we're modifying this we're saying that error is equal to login unsuccessful try again and we're returning this value once it is returned it is thrown back to the apply filter over here so you know um, is going to make use of the value because this apply filter uh, you know function it's going to return this error which has been thrown back from the custom function okay so this apply filter is going to return the value of errors which is login unsuccessful try again and we'll be able to see that uh, over here okay when we echo it out right so apply filters basically you know filters are called with the function do action and the function send is the value of the custom function which is hooked to the uh, tag hook and returns the modified value okay so as you can see this is how it works so basically the syntax is value is equal to apply filters string uh, which is the hook name and then the value uh, which needs to be passed as a parameter to the custom function okay so add filter basic so apply filter basically calls the function that is hooked to the uh, hook and add filter basically allows us to attach a function to that hook so filters and uh, are the hooks that WordPress offers to allow plugins to modify various types of data at runtime a plugin can modify data by binding a callback to a filter hook when the filter is later applied each bound callback is run in order of priority and the given opportunity to modify and given the opportunity to modify a value by returning a new value for filters you need to be more careful while setting their priority since filters modify data they may override each other if two filters are hooked into the same tag 
the one with the lower priority is executed first we've already you know learned that in the previous video then the one with the higher priority is executed which may change the data completely so many times this is a desirable behavior it's just something to be aware of so the syntax of add filter is similar to the add action we've got the hook name the function name priority and accepted arguments so just to recap this is the hook name this is the function name priority which means lower the priority number uh, sooner it will be executed if the priority number is same for two functions hooked onto the same hook then the function which is added or defined first will be executed first okay accepted arguments one so in this case in the above example we had one argument over here but it could be more okay um, right so let's proceed further bound callbacks can accept from none to total number of arguments as part of the parameter and um, right no problem if no arguments were accepted by the callback that is considered to be the same thing as, as accepting one argument so what I'm trying to say that if I wouldn't have passed this value as errors you know and I wouldn't have defined like this I could have simply returned this value so it is equivalent to that why is because if you don't define anything over here as a parameter it is considered by default that this this parameter is being passed over here and if you just return something it will automatically you know be equal to what is being passed here okay cool but just for understanding purposes let's just put it the way we've done it before okay cool all right um, so let's take a couple more examples example one filter call so uh, this is apply filter this is the hook name uh, this is the value and this is the argument two more arguments okay and we're checking if the function does not exist and we're defining this function to return some value and we're adding the filter with the hook name and callback accepting two arguments so if there were two arguments what would be the case so this is example callback and then these two arguments are being passed so what we are trying to say over here is that for example if an apply filter uh, you know has four arguments so for example or let's say three arguments so if this apply filter has three arguments the callback function can accept either one or up to three so you can either make use of one argument over here or you can use of all three make use of all three or you can just use two it's up to you it's your choice okay however when you're returning it you can only return you know something as one you cannot return everything so if you had to return all of these if you're making change for example if you were accepting all these three arguments over here into your callback function custom function if you're passing all of these three then you can make use of it by changing these values and then putting everything right here and echoing returning it out okay like for example I could write it at uh, you know this is I would need to use double quote actually I can write this value has argument sorry argument and argument 3 so I can go ahead and return like this but I can only return one item okay I can put that all as, as a string but I can only return one item okay I can have make use of all of these three so over here I could probably you know do something with this value do something with this value make changes to this value and finally return all, all three of them together like this as a string okay cool uh, so we have discussed all of this 
uh, just uh, something that you should note that the function add filter will return true whether or not the callback is valid it is up to you to take care this is done for optimization purposes so everything is quick as possible uh, okay now next is passing anonymous function as a callback so when you are actually adding the filter to the predefined hook you can either name you know put the name of the function and then define the function below like we've done here so we have gone ahead and put the name of the name of the function here and then define the function or I can directly put the entire function right here as an anonymous function so that's what it's trying to say over here that you know put the hook name and then you can do the anonymous function as well so it is possible but I would recommend not to do that uh, you know it'll be better if you do it with the function name uh, why I think it is important is because tomorrow if you want to remove uh, you know the function which is lashed onto this hook you wouldn't have the function name to remove it okay cool so if you're just doing it for testing purposes it's okay but when you're actually working on it uh, you know as a fair project then you must define the name of the function next is using add filter with class so similarly as we had with add action um, you know when you are defining add filter into our class into the class then the first parameter is the hook name the second parameter instead of just putting the name of the function you pass that into an array wherein first parameter is this which refers to the class name and the second parameter is the name of the function and this is your custom function similarly using add filter with the static class uh, static function of a class just we have like we have discussed uh, for the add action in the previous video Similarly, for this as well, we use get, uh, get call class function uh, to get the name of the, of the class because it's a status function. So this will not be the value of this will not be available in a static function. So we use add filter, the hook name, and then we pass an array with the first parameter as get call class, which will be equal to the class name, and second parameter is the custom callback function. So that's how an add filter is defined within a static class and that this is how the add filter is defined within a normal class now removing functions attached to a hook and adding your own custom function so remember in the first video I was talking about how would you know which functions are attached to a particular hook uh, so we can check if one function if we know the name of the function then we, can, we have this function called has filter we can use this function we can put the name of the hook and the first parameter and the second parameter will be the name of the function so this is going to return the value as true if this hook has got this function lashed onto it okay and then if it is then we'll go ahead and use the function remove filter like we have done remove action similarly remove filter we'll put the name of the hook and we'll put the name of a custom function that we want to remove post which we can add our own custom function by using add filter hook name and our new custom function name next is check with action or filter hook your function is attached to okay so you can do that by current filter so for example if you are within a function and if you want to know that uh, which hook is uh, you know uh, so this which hook this function is attached to then you can call this function current filter and it will return as init because it is attached to the init function okay and you can do the same for uh, filter as well so the current filter i know it's is uh, it says current filter but it is used for both add action and add filter as well uh, so irrespective of what type of hook it is whether it's a you know action hook or whether it's a filter hook if you want if you are within a function and you want to know uh, you know which hook that function is lashed to or attached to then you can just call current filter inside that function and it will tell you which uh, hook name it is attached to okay Be the reason being is because uh, you know the actions are a type of filter too if you go into the you know uh, documentation of uh, the action add action you will see that uh, you know it's calling the filter only the filter function only okay so the example of the filter hook modify your themes title so all of this uh, you will be able to see in the next video I'm not going to go through more examples in this video it will be too long but uh, 
look at the next series and you'll be able to see different examples of these actions and filter and uh, if it sounds confusing don't worry just continue watching the videos and I'm 100% sure uh, by the time you're watching the second or the third video this all that we have discussed will already start making sense to you okay and uh, if it isn't don't worry just watch the complete series and when you come back just replay all of this and definitely I assure you this will all start making sense to you by then okay so that's about it then thank you very much guys uh, I'll see you in the next video.